Hey guys, it's me Anushka. So today I'm finally going to show you how I do my brows. Uh, it's so easy and quick guys. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to first use my Veet Derma Planner. It's kind of like a razor, but it's a derma planner. And I just kind of shave on top of my brows first. Um, and then I take these little mini cuticle scissors. I think they're cuticle scissors. And I kind of lift my brow hairs upwards and I just trim the top just to make it straight you know so that when we pull them up they don't go crazy all of the all over the place because my brow hairs are so long guys um so yeah we're just cleaning it up don't take too much don't go too overboard with this step <laughs> so then i'm gonna take my tweezers and i'm just gonna pluck some stray hairs i don't get that much anymore like i used to i think i've plucked them so many times but I barely get any hairs around this area but I do get some random ones here and there so I'm just cleaning that area up if you do have more hairs maybe waxing or threading would be a better option just to clean it around the brows so now I'm going to use some got to be glue gel oh my god this is literally the star of the show I take a little pea-sized amount even less on a spoolie and I just brush this through my brows and lift them up like kind of brush them upwards just to make them look uh, I don't know like spiky or, or lifted I don't know what it does but it gives that laminated brow effect. Now, if you guys know of any good at-home lamination brow kits, let me know because I'm definitely up for trying it. I'm a bit scared, I'm not going to lie. But look at that effect. Um, so I do this every time I do my makeup. I'm just trimming a bit more here, guys. But um, if a brow lamination kit that I can do at home is better and I don't have to do this all the time, then I'm definitely up for trying it. So um, I want to uh, kind of wipe away the excess gel on my skin because makeup can sit a bit weird on it so I try to remove any excess as possible and now I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand you can use any concealer that you like this one is my personal fave you guys know already and I'm going to use a Sigma Eye Cream Brush which I'll link in the info box it's so good at carving your brows out and yeah I'm just carving them out really like I usually do you can totally skip this step I've definitely done a lot of looks here on YouTube and on Instagram where I skip this step and it still looks really good but this just brings it to that next level and makes it look really clean and really you know tidy and slick i'm just showing you guys how i do the other brow one brow is definitely more difficult to carve than the other and i think it's this one for me but this whole brow routine is so convenient and I love the result. You guys love them too. Like I've had so many questions about them lately and honestly this is this is all I do and it's so easy. I'm just taking a, a, an eye stippling brush and I'm just blending out the concealer so there's no harsh lines. So now I'm going to use a NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black and I really like this one because it's super thin and it's also really affordable guys so yeah I barely do any like um strokes I would say like I do barely any guys just two or three where I feel like there are sparse areas and yeah those are the brows oh my god wasn't that so quick <laughs> all right guys my makeup is done if you want to know how i did like my makeup it will be on my instagram so make sure to follow me on there um but yeah those are my brows it's so so easy i hope you found this video helpful i don't know i just feel like my my brows have been microbladed they just look so clean and crisp and you can see the hairs which i really really like so yeah that's how i've been doing my brows it's so easy guys nothing special there's barely any like makeup on there so yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video Bye guys.